Hey everyone, welcome back to the NPT Podcast. This is Will Crane, your host. Thank you so much for joining me as we talk through the content you need in order to dominate on test day. So today we've got a practice question related to the metabolic and endocrine systems. So we'll be talking about that. But before we do, just a quick reminder of our PT crash course. We have an ongoing PT crash course. We do this three weeks before every test day. This is a combo course, asynchronous and synchronous content, where you can get questions answered during live sessions. You've got access to our our private and unique Telegram group to talk through questions and ways to prepare for test day. Plus, we've got some fun bonuses coming your way as a part of our PT crash course. It is not too late to sign up if you'd like to sign up. We just started it this week, this the first week of July. We also run a PTA crash course three weeks before every PTA administration. So be sure to check that out. You can find all that information over at ptfinalexam.com. So today we've got a practice question related to the metabolic and endocrine interventions. So this system, the metabolic and endocrine systems, there's somewhere between five and seven questions related to this system. So it's not a huge system, but certainly something worth knowing. And we've talked about a number of questions related to this. Uh, this would be where diabetes fits. Today our, our question is about thyroidism, hyper hypothyroidism. So certainly any of these hormone disorders, diabetes, uh, so blood glucose disorders, anything like that would fit nicely into the metabolic and endocrine systems, as well as any of the other like hyper hypo pituitaryism, uh, hypo hyper cortisolism. There are a number of conditions that could fit in this category as well. So as per our usual, I'll read to you our practice question, give you a moment to respond, and then we'll talk about it together. A patient with hyperthyroidism is receiving physical therapy exercise intervention. Which of the following concerns will most likely be present in an individual with hyperthyroidism? So we've got a patient with hyperthyroidism receiving PT intervention. Which of the following concerns will most likely be present in an individual with hyperthyroidism? One, decreased cardiac output. Two, decreased respiratory rate. Three, distal muscle weakness. And four, excessive fatigue. So you got decreased cardiac output, decreased respiratory rate, distal muscle weakness, and excessive fatigue. So the correct answer related to hyperthyroidism is excessive fatigue. So patients who have hyperthyroidism, they tend to have significant fatigue with activity. This is because although they have a, a heightened metabolic rate, this leads to rapid depletion of nutrients, which creates uh, this excessive fatigue. They're also known to have proximal muscle weakness, increased heart rate, increased respiratory rate, and very poor exercise tolerance. These are all some of the symptoms, signs and symptoms related to hyperthyroidism. So the way I remember this is that thyroid or hyper and hypothyroidism, this is like the metabolic gas pedal. So if you were to rev up the engine or to push the gas pedal, that would be hyperthyroidism leading to weight loss. Uh, these folks also have one of the the signs is exophthalmos, where the eyes are are bulged out. Uh, these folks have an increased increased uh, heart rate, increased respiratory rate, uh, proximal muscle weakness. All of this, uh, all of these, are associated with hyperthyroidism. Whereas hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, hypothyroidism. That's where you have a decrease in your metabolic rate. These folks tend to have mixed edema, polyarthralgia. They tend to feel very, very, they feel fatigued as well all the time. But part of it's just because of the lesser or lower metabolic rate. They have weight gain that's not commensurate with caloric intake. Uh, those are the characteristics of hypothyroidism. So hyperthyroidism, also known as Graves' disease, uh, one way to remember this, this is how I remember it, is that with your, if you're pushing the gas pedal and driving too fast, then you have one foot in the grave already, I guess. So that's Graves' disease for hyperthyroidism. And then Hashimoto's thyroiditis or Hashimoto's disease, that's related to hypothyroidism. So there you go. There's a practice question related to the metabolic and endocrine system intervention section. Be sure to check out all of the other episodes over at ptfinalexam.com, all of the other podcast episodes, and leave us a review over on Google Play, Apple's iTunes, Spotify, wherever it is you're listening to this podcast. It's much appreciated. And in the meantime, be sure to yeah have, have fun studying. Just remember you're good at this. This is something that you enjoy doing. So Will Crane fist pumps all around. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a fabulous day.